Hey everybody, meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We've got to talk about what is going to be Tropical Storm Debbie because it is going to have a huge impact on the Carolinas and you already know in Florida it's heading your way. Um, it's definitely going to be a big weather maker for most of this week. So let's get right to the details. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the risk for severe weather today. There is a risk here. I will quickly show you the outlook today. I'm going to turn off the satellite data. We've got this weak front and a trough coming in. So pretty good setup for strong to severe storms today. So just a heads up in the Carolinas, Virginias, up into Delmarva, we've got severe weather uh, ongoing. I didn't want to gloss over that because that will be a risk today. But it's probably going to start paling in comparison to what's going to be heading our way next week because this is our tropical depression number four um you can see it's over the southern part of cuba the isle of love is right there the um, cayman islands to the south you go a little bit further south you see jamaica down there uh this is going to cross over cuba once it gets out towards the um, west of florida there that's when things go a little bonkers it's going to be over very warm water here um, it probably could become a tropical storm pretty quickly this weekend and then a hurricane before landfall I think there's a small chance for rapid intensification, about a 40% chance that happens, especially over here. The water here is like in the 90s, so real good chance. But then it crosses Florida, and this is where it gets interesting. Over the Carolinas, Georgia coast, it stalls. See that big circle? That's an indication that the storm is going to be somewhere in there. The question is where? And when you get a tropical system like this to stall, that is a bad, bad situation. Look at the steering currents here. So. One thing you notice down here on the on the on the on the southern part of this map here, I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. We'll show you right here a couple of things. I'm gonna stop it right here. Whoops, let me stop it right there. And I'm gonna grab my cursor. So there's our tropical system hurricane. The the Bermuda High weakens. It's not very strong, so it's not supplying a lot of push. We got the big heat dome out west, and the jet stream and trough are up here. So it starts going up here, and there's really nothing to steer it because this high right here is not strong enough it's too far east and this one's too far west so it's caught in between and so it's kind of like in one of those you ever had like a leaf or a uh, a boat or something you stuck it in a stream and it gets in one of those spots behind a rock or something where the current isn't really flowing it's just kind of a whirlpool um, that's kind of what's going to happen here because you'll see what happens watch it kind of sit there and it just kind of meanders over the carolina coast and this is through wednesday thursday Friday, possibly Saturday, maybe Sunday before it starts to move out. So it's going to be down there a while, and that means a lot, a lot of flooding. Now, I already kind of know where the next track is going to be from the Hurricane Center. It's coming out as I'm recording this. This is like 1045. I'll show you real quickly where I know it's going to end up being. So we're on a completely different map here, and you can see the, the forecast track from the Hurricane Center are the white dots, but you see the red dots? That's what we call the consensus model, and it's pretty much where you're going to see the track kind of line up, and you see it already lines up with the track right now. This, this just came out, so you can see right around Savannah, the system stalls and just kind of sits here. Um, and so that's a problem. So if you look at these, these points, I mean, these are, these are basically 12-hour points here. Where the storm doesn't move much for about two or three days it's over savannah charleston brunswick island area sits there for a while and then you see tries to move inland uh, even as far as columbia to rockingham and fayetteville by next saturday saturday it's south of raleigh <laughs> and by saturday morning it's just getting into virginia so that's gonna put that down there for a while now the track as i mentioned it, it'll be updating momentarily but it's gonna stall somewhere down in here and that's going to bring some big time problems and we're already starting to see some of the totals this is the seven day rainfall forecast so let me go through time we'll go all the way to seven days and you can see the totals we're talking about if it stalls down here a foot foot and a half of rain is not out of the realm of possibility now if it starts moving inland a little bit we could see up to two to three inches there definitely could be flooding in here especially if it takes that slow track this way the concern I have is where does it stall? If it stalls a little bit further offshore, that could help out for lesser rain amounts to the west. If it stalls a little further inland, you're going to see flooding rains just about every day next week. So big time flood risk for the Carolinas right now, but there's still some uncertainty on the exact track on where it stalls. And I know that seems like a cop out, but I know it's going to stall. The question is where? Weak steering currents by their very nature mean it's hard to forecast where it's going to go because there's no forward motion. It's like putting GPS coordinates in your car 
and then not moving and that time changing all the time on your time of arrival or ETA. Same thing happens in weather. If something's not moving, it's hard to calculate a forward motion and speed as well as forecast amounts and everything because there's no, it's like, like I said, it's like having a calculation where you're missing numbers. So it makes it hard to calculate. But the one thing we know based on the steering currents, it's going to stall somewhere in the Carolinas. So for me, that means big time flood risk. Now, a little bit of good news with the stall, it's going to be lingering possibly over um, land, possibly stalling um, on the coast or just off the coast. That means upwelling cool water. So that doesn't mean a strong storm. It doesn't mean it's going to have the ability to gain strength. Now, Florida, different different deal. Like I said, Florida, watch out. This thing could be sneaky strong as it moves towards the Big Bend area. But in the Carolinas, our primary concern, beach erosion, some storm surge, but flash flooding. Flooding from rains will be by far the biggest, biggest threat. Let me see if we just got the update so I can pass it to you before we end the video. And as I thought, we just did get that update. So you can see it crossing over early this morning. By tomorrow, we expect it to be a tropical storm. Debbie then making landfall possibly Monday morning in the Big Bend area where there are hurricane watches up because it could be a hurricane. And then it's just a big stall. Between 8 a.m. Monday morning with that landfall in the Big Bend area to 8 a.m. Thursday, this thing is not going to move much at all. So we're talking big, big time rainfall amounts uh, in South Carolina, Georgia, and Northern Florida, and then possibly moving north into parts of North Carolina. This is the five-day excessive rainfall outlook, or essentially flash flood outlook, and you could see all of the Carolinas in the, the slight, or what we call medium. There's a 15% chance of flooding, flash flooding in that area. The red is moderate. That's a 40%, so that's pretty high. That's a very high probability of flooding from Myrtle Beach down to Jacksonville. Um, and then inland areas, it's it's slight because there's some uncertainty. So don't be surprised if we see this upgraded to an extreme or we even see some moderate flooding in here. So uh, right now, I, I if I were to draw the area of greatest concern, it's going to be almost to Charlotte down to here. This area right in here, I am very concerned with some serious flooding issues. And we're talking foot of rain possible. So stay weather aware next week. This is going to be a slow moving mess. I mean, it's going to be around here for a while. Um, when you get slow moving tropical systems, you get big time flooding issues. So we'll keep an eye on it. But that's the latest on Debbie. I will continue to post updates this weekend and into next week. Have a great weekend. Watch out for the strong storms today as well.